with us as we explore this beautiful, massive estate property that was completed in 1895 and was the home of George and Edith Vanderbilt. Beyond this entrance area is a long, gorgeous five-mile driveway to the Biltmore House and visitor parking area where you take an enjoyable trolley ride up to the drop-off area directly in front of the impressive estate. George Vanderbilt visited Asheville, North Carolina in 1888 and was captivated by the area's natural beauty. He slowly began purchasing land and ended up with 125,000 acres for his country estate. Look at that gorgeous view behind us. The Vanderbilt's 250-room French Renaissance Chateau is a true marvel, the largest undertaking in residential architecture. Over a six-year period, an entire community of craftsmen came together to create America's premier home. Today, Biltmore House is known as America's largest home and a National Historic Landmark, but before it became one of North Carolina's most popular tourist destinations, it was simply home to the Vanderbilt family. I'm in front of the Biltmore Estate. Can you believe this was a house? They still say it's a house, but really it's a museum. And it's fascinating and incredible at the same time. They don't let you take video of the insides. They do let you take pictures, so we have a little photos, but no video. But my favorite part are the gardens, and that's where we're going now. So come along with us. Let's go see the koi ponds. Conservatory now.
to my right and left side are the rose gardens and you can smell them. They smell so good. <sighs> Everything's kind of coming to the end of the season for blooms right now. There's still some left though. Oh, but I can imagine what they were like just a little while ago. Japanese wisteria, which are growing all throughout this arbor walkway. Imagine how beautiful it is when it's in bloom. This thing is old. always <laughs> oh beautiful day we might see a few more things after we get on the trolley we'll try it mm -hmm. Vanderbilt began planning his grand estate in Asheville, North Carolina, he envisioned a self-sustaining estate that would nurture the land and its resources for years to come. Today, five generations later, you can see George Vanderbilt's vision being preserved right before our eyes. Some of the Vanderbilts actually still live on the property as they operate this beautiful estate and grounds, and they are passionate about their mission of preservation through self-sufficiency. I guess in the however many hundred thousand acres. I think they now call it the Antler Village. Antler Village. And winery too. Yeah, and a, there's bunny rabbits bunny hopping rabbits. around. And it's a very pleasant area. Well, two more they have music. Oh, the bunny rabbits. I have to see if I can get those. I'll interrupt this for a bunny rabbit stop. There's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Where's not, that little bunny? He's not scared of us. They're very um, docile. They're adorable. Bunnies are great in the outdoors. 
I wouldn't recommend them as pets. They keep the grass cut. Hey, yeah. That's good. <laughs> and fertilized too. <laughs> well, we'll keep going on our outing. What did you find? What is it? Ooh. No what oh my petunias. goodness. Beautiful petunias. <laughs> the flowers are so pretty. Though we skipped the winery today, it's a wonderful tour and highly recommended if that's your thing. But we found this new offering. Oh, let's go inside and see. This exhibition on the Vanderbilts and the Biltmore estate was fascinating. I love to hear or read about history and this definitely had my interest. Thank you. 
think we're going to call it a day. Yeah, it's time to go back home, I guess, whatever, wherever we parked it. <laughs> it was a wonderful day. We spent a good amount of time here and you can never have quite enough, but yeah. it's really nice to spend <clears throat> the full day here and relax in the evening. And now we have to get on the road, head yeah. back. Head on back, the sun is about to set and hopefully we'll get a good drive back about an hour and a half all the way to Franklin. Yeah. All right, see you next time. Bye from the Biltmore. Because it's dark trolley. Oh,